Hi, we are going to look at what do we mean by the standard error of the regression. So, in linear regression, when we talk about the standard error of the regression, basically what we are trying to say is that how spread each observation are from the regression line. So, remember, when we draw the linear regression line, or we can call it the line of best fit, it's only an approximation of the actual observations. So here now I'm showing you this is the linear regression line and I'm saying this is a population regression line. So remember in practice that we will not know the population regression line. Because if we are saying that we know the population regression line, Basically, what we are saying is that we have all the observations of the whole population. So, for example, let's assume that we are looking at the individual savings and the relationship between savings and salary of every individual who are working in a particular city. And let's assume that city has around 5 million individuals. Now, if you are saying that in practice, we are going to draw the population regression line. That means we need to collect data from every individual. That means the whole 5 million population to come up with this population regression line. And we know that in reality, it's not practical. So what normally we do is we select a random sample and then we will draw the sample regression line. But let's assume for a moment that we know the population regression line. And let's assume that this is the population regression line. So remember, the population regression line will only give us an estimate. For example, for someone who has a salary at this point, based on the population regression line, we are saying that based on that person's salary, that individual should have a savings somewhere here. Savings somewhere here. But as you can see, that individual's actual savings is quite high compared to what the regression line will say. So in other words, the regression line will say if you have a salary somewhere here, your savings should be somewhere here based on the regression line. But the actual observation is quite high. The savings is quite high. So the difference between what the regression line says and the actual observation, the difference between those two are called the error term, which we indicate using U. So I'm showing you here just few data points. So you can see this is, this is the error term for this data point. This is the error term for this data point. So when we talk about the standard error of the regression, what we are saying is how far are your errors are from your regression line? Now, if your errors are not that far from your regression line, then that means it's a good regression line. But if your errors are quite far away from your regression line, then what we are saying is the estimate based on the regression is not that good. In other, in other words, the regression is not a good estimator of the actual observations. So here, this is a high level definition, the standard error, error of the regression is an estimator, you can note that word, is an estimator of the standard deviation of the regression error. And the regression error is indicated by the letter U, and here I can be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So you can see that the standard error of the regression basically tells us the standard deviation of the error term. In other words, how spread are the errors from the regression line. Remember the standard deviation basically tells you how spread is your observations from the standard regression line. So that's what we are saying here. Standard error of the regression is a measure of the spread of the observations around the regression line. So remember if the standard error of the regression is quite small then what that means is that your regression line is quite good at estimating your observations. But if your standard error of your regression is quite high, that means the errors are quite high. 
in other words what we are estimating and the actual observations the difference between those two are quite large the other thing to note is the standard error of regression is measured in the units of the dependent variable so in this case let's assume that savings are in us dollars then for this regression your standard error of regression will be in us dollars as well now for example if your y values are let's assume that you're measuring the height in feet then your standard error of regression also will be in the same units in other words in feet so remember the standard error of regression will be measured in the units of the dependent variable in other words in the units of the y value so let's see how can we measure the standard error of regression now remember we said that normally we will not know the population regression line so in order to measure the standard error of the regression we use the error terms based on the sample regression line so that's what we are doing here so basically we will square every error term of the sample regression line you add all those together and then we divide the whole number by n minus 2 now n is the number of observations in the sample that you have selected now the reason we deduct 2 from the number of observations is that remember when we use a sample regression line we estimate the intercept and the slope since we are estimating two coefficients so we, we, we call these coefficients remember since we are estimating these two values so we deduct two degrees of freedom so that's what we are doing here so the reason we have n minus 2 is because we, we are estimating two parameters when we use the sample regression line we estimate two parameters and that's the reason we deduct two so two is called the degrees of freedom so that's what we divided by n minus 2 and then we take the square root of the whole thing so remember in order to calculate the standard error of the regression we take the sample error terms because as you know that we cannot take the actual we cannot calculate the population regression line and therefore we cannot calculate the actual error terms based on the population regression line so what we do is we take the sample error terms remember the sample error terms is simply the difference between the actual values in your sample and the sample regression line so we take the sample error terms we square them and add them together and then we divide it by n minus 2 now n is the number of observations in your sample so this is how we calculate the standard error of the regression the important thing to remember is that the more the standard error of your regression is that means your regression line is not a good estimate if your standard error of regression is quite small then your regression line is quite good so if you have two regression models to choose just based on the standard error of the regression then you should choose the model which has the lowest standard error of regression now of course we will talk about the r squared in a different video which will also complement for complement this with regards to how you can use that as a measure to choose the best linear regression model so if you enjoyed this video click like and also subscribe to our channel if you have any questions you can post it in the comment section or drop us an email and we can uh, have a look and i'll post more videos on similar topics thank you